What is going on everyone? This is Jacob Amaral here. At the end of each month, I go over in full transparency how well my automated trading systems are performing. Are they making money or are they losing money? I build and code my own automated trading systems in the futures market and build portfolios to help make a return for me in the market with my own capital. In today's video, we're gonna be going over October, 2022. Let's get started. All right, so for October, unfortunately, it was another red month. Uh, we were down 1.27%. I know this screen and user interface is a little bit different. Usually I show my Ninja Trader screen uh, with my trades. I was switching VPSs um, probably, in, I think, in the middle of November. And for some reason, my, my uh, old VPS, the database got corrupted. So I could not show my performance or my trades in Ninja Trader. So I have my Interactive Brokers account, um, live account logged in here. Um, so you're seeing what they show. So I won't be able to go too in depth of the trades because their interface doesn't show as much detail. Um, but one thing I do like about um, Interactive Brokers is they do a benchmark. So unfortunately, I did underperform the S&P 500 index uh, heavily for the month of October, uh, where it returned over 8.1% um, compared to my negative 1.27%. So I wanted to talk about some of the mistakes or, you know, it's not really mistakes, but um, October was definitely... Um, we had some really awesome days, um, but they were few and far between. A lot of my trading systems, once again, do well with momentum and big days will remove 50 to 100 points in the futures market in one direction, could be short or long. Uh, but when there's a lot of, you know, wicks or um, a lot of days where we gap up and then close the gap, um, a lot of my trading systems don't do that well, uh, just because it's really hard to predict that type of movement. A lot of high frequency trading systems will do well on those days because they're just getting in and out within a couple minutes or a couple seconds uh, for a small profit and doing that consecutively. But a lot of my trading systems are small to medium hold times uh, within the day. Um, and when there's a lot of, you know, gap ups and then fill in the gap um, or a lot of wicks on the day, uh, I get chopped out a lot. And that's what happened a lot in October. November has been a great month. It's been, I think, my biggest month of the year. So very excited to, to do my November video. But October was a bit tougher. And um, I think from what I recall off the top of my head, my natural gas trading system did really well. It, it, it It's a short only trading system. I think it was like four for four on October. But yeah, overall, we had a lot of um, a lot of choppy days, a lot of lower volatility and um, just not not what my trading system do well on. So uh, in terms of fixing this issue, you know, what happens a lot when you're building automated trading systems is that the market really has to be your fav in your favor to do well, and you can't really um, improve it quickly enough to do to make it do well the rest of the month, for example. Um, and it's it's hard because you're just watching your trading systems, and you're like, oh shit, like it's you know it's losing money. Um, I want to tweak it, right? And you can't really do that when it's running live. You can build what I would recommend is like maybe building another portfolio or taking out systems and putting in new ones, maybe uh, on the next month. Uh, but sometimes you just kind of have to watch it and see that it loses money and say, okay, why is it losing money? Understanding why it is. And once you understand why it is like for, in my case, you know, once again, like a lot of what I'm noticing is a lot of gap days where we gap down and then fill the gap on the upside or gap up and, and then fill the gap on the downside. I know those days I lose money just because of my portfolio and how the trading systems work, uh, with the indexes specifically, uh, the commodities is a little bit of a different story, but I know that they lose money on that. So to fix that, what I need to do is introduce new trading systems that do well on those days and kind of integrate them with the current <laughs> and integrate them with the current portfolio, uh, making sure they don't correlate with the already running trading systems that I know perform well, um, but that they can fill those gaps, uh, no pun intended, fill those gaps and do well on those days. Uh, what I find with commodities, uh, so, you know, when I'm talking about the gap up and then reversal, it's more with the indexes with, you know, ES futures, NQ futures, that sort of stuff. Now with commodities, it's a, it's a much different story. It's, it's much more seasonal. And um, it's, it's funny that my natural gas system is doing well right now, because usually natural gas goes up in, in the winter, uh, if you look at it, seasonal trends. Um, but it's a short only system, it goes short on, on Thursdays when they do the natural gas report. Um, so I am a little perplexed that it, it is doing well. Um, I know it usually does well in the summer when natural gas goes down in value, but for it to do well now is, um, it's a little odd, um, but it's working, it's, it's making money, so I'm gonna keep running it. Um, I did turn off an oil short system um, about midway September, just because it was getting, 
you know, it hit its max drawdown. And one of my rules is if a system hits its max drawdown, like it goes out, like I can't, I don't want to trade it anymore. Uh, and it did, unfortunately, but I was trading a lower size, only one micro contract on that. Um, but yeah, negative month for October. Um, so far, November it has been my best month of the year. So once again, expect a very exciting video on November. But yeah, here we are, you know, full transparency down 1.27% underperforming the market. I, you know, I, I never, I don't, I, I always want to try and beat the market. That's my goal. But I know that it's impossible to do it every month um, or else, you know, if you were doing that every month, um, I'd like to meet you, I guess. Uh, but it, it, I know it is impossible. Um, I think November will be outperforming as well and hopefully December as well. I know December usually is a stronger market in the bullish uh, trend or the, the bullish side, but it's a lot or volatility, a lot lower volatility. So it's kind of like a small stair step in terms of the indexes. Um, but yeah, that's the month down 1.27%. Let me know in the comments below if you find value on these videos. Uh, and I just wanted to mention, we are running a Black Friday sale for my Coding Great Training Bots course. Uh, the link will be in the description below. Code BF50, you'll get $50 off in the course. You'll learn how to code great trading systems, build portfolios, and how to use multiple different software and platforms to run automated trading systems. So check that out uh, in the description below. Once again, code BF50, Black Friday 50. And yeah, we'll see you next week for the next video, guys. Bye.